Hey guys, it's Gabby, and today we're gonna be learning how to make aesthetic y, trendy, fun YouTube videos. <laughs> I've been getting a ton of questions. I feel like such an influencer right now. I'm getting a ton of questions. Um, actually, sis, you haven't had one. I have so many tips and tools and tricks on how to make videos. Definitely because my videos used to be like hecka boring and like intros really boring and like ugh, just talking a lot. And I have put a lot of time and effort recently in the past couple weeks making my videos get to the next level. But let's just get started. Um, 2016 MacBook Air. Aww. So guys, first step, I edit with Final Cut Pro. But you will never know. Final Cut Pro is a little hefty. $300, but so much better than monthly payments because you get it forever and you get the new updates with it all the time I love Final Cut Pro. There's a lot of potential with it So you can see I have my last video up here my TJ Maxx video I kind of left it up just so I could show you guys some edits that I did um, And if you see I only have one library It's called creation and in order to create a new video I just click new project and you can just name it and you can set I set mine for HD 1080 HD because that's gonna get you HD on YouTube and I always have my outro saved as its own video and I can copy The first thing I want to go over are the fonts that I use I have many saved already that I like but I'm always making new ones and not necessarily saving them because I'm just like okay I'm mostly using Helvetica because that is the most popular or bold oblique the more words you use in your videos the more interesting I also will put a border around it sometimes like a white border or I'll just play around like this font right here is called Madison and then I'll just save them see so you can get you can click save format attributes or save all format and name it yourself I also love typewriter because you can add the typewriting effect over here And you can just drag that down and then you can go into sound effects and there's already a typewriting effect I have folders called backgrounds sound effects and YouTube music I'm constantly trying to go with like blue peach or lavender vibes a lot of aesthetical colors. White is just clean and fresh and aesthetic. You know, you can see my whole room is like white. If you go over here to effects, you're gonna have effects and then also audio at the bottom. Some of my favorite audios are the Helium one because it's like it's so funny and I love it so much. Sometimes when I'm like really angry, I'll use this voice just to emphasize my monster inside of me. Underwater, if you know, I'm ever underwater because you know, we do that like all the time. We all hear underwater, you know, in my videos like car radio because then it'll sound super like VHS, and that is very popular right now. Like, you could border it and you could border your video in a square and then put some effects over it in Final Cut Pro and then the car radio, and it'll make it sound like it's old fashioned, which is very popular right now. Now, some of my favorite effects you can see these are all effects that you can drag onto a video and it'll make it that way. Artifacts, I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. Those are used definitely when you're like, I'm such a queen, <laughs> you know, very funny, funny vibes. Bad TV is used if you want the VHS effect. Combine that with car radio and ooh, you could have like a good little montage of like your trip or something like that. Sensor, say it's like, I'm me doing my mouth open. Nobody wants to see that. See these border ones, sometimes I'll use that when it's really dramatic. I downloaded that, whatever. You literally can go on YouTube and type in like presets to download for Final Cut Pro. Camcorder, you know, if I'm ever like wanting to have the recording effect. Dazzle I can use to be like all pretty. I sometimes combine it with artifacts, like dazzle. Earthquake is, you know, I can do earthquake all the time. Like when I'm confused, I'm like, uh. Fish eye. When I'm being really dumb in a video, I just sometimes just put the fish eye when I'm like, uh, flashing effects. I'll just use flashing effects like if there's anything really dramatic in my video that I'm trying to achieve. HDR tools actually really fun. These glitches I all downloaded. I sometimes use those on my fonts. They're really cool. I use rain when I'm sad. I just can't do this anymore. I just don't know what I'm doing. If you have like a time lapse where the speed is really much, instead of just having the time lapse on it on its own. Adding trails will make it seem like a cool effect. Underwater is like when I'm like, ooh, fun, like we're on vibe. I've gone on and downloaded a lot of sound effects. These are just some of them. I have in my Google Drive all of these sound effects. 
the more sound effects the better in your video i just typed in youtube like most popular sound effects on youtube and then you can just download a bunch of them and just put them in your video make them more exciting i have a bunch of overlays i also include this transparent instagram tag literally always plugging my instagram and this loading one is so cool i want to show you i just screen recorded it see you can have like now loading oh love that youtube music is so important just go to thematic you have to have an actual channel to subscribe to it and get their music but thematic has the best music ever and it lets you use all the music as long as you plug it in the description so if you want to find some good music here on my laptop i have some of my favorite ones like <laughs> You have to copy and paste this to put inside of your description. I just keep them in a little sticky, so whatever song I use, I'll like copy. Getting to the part of putting everything together. I simply record my video on my phone or my G7X. I will airdrop it or connect it and import it to my laptop. And then you can literally just drag your videos into Final Cut Pro. There are some commands you can use, like Command B is to cut the video. And you can just click delete or you can click command C to redo everything that you did. Command C and command V are really good for copying and pasting. I know this is a lot of information, but like once you download it and start playing around with it, it's really easy. When it comes to tips and tricks with making your videos, my first one is to use a lot of crops in Ken's burns. Click on your video. My favorite transition is just fading to color, fading to white or either fading this way. I just have a transition here, so. So you see, I put in the Helvetia Bold. I put it over one of my backgrounds, Peach. And then I put a nice song that's nice and loud. And then the typewriter sound. Now once my voice started, I turn down my music and constantly have background music. When something awkward happens or funny, stop the music and make it like cricket. So here we go. I'll give you an example. Yeah, guys, yesterday I was talking to this person and I was like talking to like, oh, God. Shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say. But anyway, I was like, do you see how that's like more fun? Cause it like keeps it really interactive. People have to keep their ears open and listen. Things are constantly breaking and it's never the same. That is the key to a good aesthetic video. Especially because nowadays with the whole, the new TikTok taking over the generations, it's really much difficult for YouTubers to make their real videos to just sit down and talk because everyone is just so damn bored all the time. I even admit it, after watching TikTok and having 60 seconds of like simulation, it's really hard for me to sit down and watch like a 20 minute YouTube video. That's one of the reasons why my YouTube videos have shortened in length. They're around 10 minutes average now. I'm constantly, constantly adding fun effects to it because people will get bored. See, this one has a Ken's Okay, burn. we're back with the haul. See how it zooms? In. This is typical Emma Chamberlain editing. All you do is click crop on the video and you can Ken's burn, start and end. iMovie has the same exact thing. Also, or I could just crop it and leave it at my face. And so when you hear me, it's like, okay, we're back with the haul. It's a cut, a shirt, and a few hours later. You'll play around with it and you want to crop in when you're saying something like really important or it's funny and you want to emphasize your face and you want to zoom in when you're taking a little bit longer of time to say something. Like, like if I say something bad and I need to restart, like beep it. Aww. Or it's like, I'm really nervous and I'm waiting for something at um, TJ Maxx and I'm like, You know, just adding those make it really fun. Another tip, you have to have a quick and fun intro. We can no longer have these YouTubers that talk for three minutes about what they're gonna do in the video. They're not gonna get views. It's to create like a little interactive one, like as if we're talking in a voiceover. Okay, TJ Maxx has been closed for months now, and I've been going through extreme withdrawals. But as stores have been opening up this past month all around the country, finally, my store opened. And I was determined to be one of the first people inside. And then the video starts. So I have obviously changed the intro a little bit, like here it's upside down and this isn't the right font. 
but you get the gist of it. I'm voicing over, I'm giving you a little bit of background information, but never more than max 45 seconds. I try to keep it between 20 and 30, 15 and 30. Another thing is if you cannot be boring, you cannot talk in one spot for more than a minute or a minute and a half or people will skip forward. It's just the truth. I know in my videos, you guys know you do it. A lot of people will put the speed up to like 1.5 because they can't sit down and just watch a YouTube video for 10 minutes. Too long. And it's unfortunate, but that is what happens. So if you want engagement, you want longer duration on your videos, or you want to make good videos, you have to add a lot of effects. A few other things, like if I wanted to speed this up, I could just do fast 248x. I do that a lot. Slow motion. If something's trying to be funny, you can change the opacity of things. This video seems really straightforward to me. I feel like I need to sit down and give you guys a more in-depth video of how I do it. So I guess this video is essentially tips and tricks um, for Final Cut Pro when you're using it. Not exactly how I edit my video every second. I think this is a really good start for you guys. It's really all just playing around and getting how you like it. If you have any other questions, please comment below. If you want me to make a part two on how I edit videos and actually like edit one right in front of you and show you everything I do, I will. It's just, let me tell you, it's just gonna be a little bit longer because I take six hours to edit my videos and that's the downside of adding so many effects, but that's what you need if you want a fun video and that's why I post like once a week and not two, twice or three times because it's a lot of work to keep people engaged nowadays. Actually, last thing, when I go to upload, I will just click export file. I will create, go to settings. I will do a web hosting of best quality and then I will just click next and then I will click upload. It will download to here and then I will drag it into my YouTube studio where I can upload a video. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful. This is hard work and it is discipline to sit down and edit your videos. It is not easy. So I encourage all of you that want to start easy, start using some of the effects that I said, some of the music, downloading music and stuff like that. And I will include a lot of resources in the description for you. So I love you guys. Uh, stay tuned for my next video. Let me know what you want to see below. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I feel like James Charles right now talking so fast. But anyway, I love you. Bye.